10 rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Mendoza's ring walk is very interesting. Work with the left hand by Chico. Solid right by Mendoza. A headshot block. Body shot lands. It was the right. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Hook upstairs. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Look at this. Another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight. He's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Rushers combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the Keep great fights inside. to talk about. Good work defensively by Crusher. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed them beautifully. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Round comes to an end. You guys, Brian Scott Russ, we appreciate you doing all the difficult work while we get a chance to sit out here and uh, enjoy the fun part. And by the way, you guys, after we just said that, you guys are picking up the tab tonight. He just missed that shot up top. Another left hand from him. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Scores with the uppercut. Halfway through round number two. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Gets rid of that body shot. Digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking a shot. Rusher's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Mendoza. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Chico's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Rusher's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Knocking them count. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Each man able to land an uppercut. A solid left hand by Crusher. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Mendoza. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Mendoza. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. 
90 seconds to go here in this round. Mendoza's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Scoring with the right hand by Chico. Right to the body. Both guys have a lot to be proud of with their performances in this round so far, and they still want to give more. What an encore in this final minute. If you were a kid, you would feel that you're on one of those rides at Space Mountain. I mean, it's just extraordinary. Very accurate two-punch combo by Crusher. Crusher's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it, he's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. 10 seconds to go in this third round. And the round comes to an end. Firing off the uppercuts, great exchange. Scores up top with a left. Good job on the two-punch combo by Crusher. Crusher's right hand scores well. Missed the body shot. Well played, straight right hand. Took a shot, now he gets the left. Flush right hand to the head. Chico's lack of defense right now is showing up. His opponent's scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he's found the target for that early on, and he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Mendoza's combination punching is working well here. Fine looking right hand by Mendoza. Close the jam. And he stays downstairs. after getting tagged like that. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Crusher's pure aggression got to his opponent in that. Rating right hand. Boy, is this a dangerous biz. Mendoza's completely missing the jab. When that's not there, oh, you're gonna dug yourself a big hole. Now that's like saying I wanna go swimming. Guess what, there's no water. You need water to swim. You need jab to fight, to set things up. On, Good job. Well timed, well placed uppercut there. Little head hunting with the left. What an excellent two-punch combo by Mendoza. Halfway through this round. Scored well with the left downstairs. Crusher's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. Keep moving, keep moving. There's the combo to the body. Stay on the inside. Chico's wanting the counter punch here. But that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that. But, you know, 
People under pressure in all walks of life, you know, in the ring, especially, you see it right away. You, you kind of peek at it right away. It's obvious. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to see what he has to see. Seven a straight hand by Chico. Luke is good. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Crusher's got to deal with a cut now above his eye. Now that is fighting right there, and smart fighting. Landing all four punches. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Good step back counter punch there. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. And now they're trading blows. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Mendoza. Mendoza's probably wishing he had you in the corner right now, Teddy, because I know you're very quick to give adjustment advice, to know what your options are now that things haven't gone the way they should have gone for a fighter with a specific style. His style is that of an infighter. It's not working out. No, it's not. You know, I wouldn't even talk to him about, hey, you got to bring your feet, you got to walk in, you got to take steps, you got to come behind your chair. He knows that already. I would just ask him one point blank question. Do you want to be on the inside? Because you're acting like you don't. So when this fight is over, don't tell me that you couldn't get inside. Just tell me you didn't want to win the fight enough. Right to the head with that right. Rusher's doing really well on the outside. A crushing two-punch combo by Crusher. End of that round, and what I take away from it, what I take away from it is that he the judges look for. Good, clean, effective punching has him in control. Well, that's what happens when you have a good amateur background where you're real calm. That's your office. You're able to see things. You don't see one way to hit a guy, not even two. You see four or five ways to hit a guy with the same. He didn't see that left hand, and it got to him badly. He should really tie up now. He's punching away, even though he's been stunned. A well-placed left hand up top. Uppercut! Crusher's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Mendoza! Big, big shot comes crashing home. He goes down. He has so much time now, he's going to be forced to survive. Mendoza's back up, but is he back in the fight? We're gonna find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. There's the head shot, but he parries it away. Little volume punching to the body there. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. A well-targeted jab. Did you see that? Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went One, down, and not the two, way he wanted it to go. Three. Nice. Standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old-timers would say, take a walk around the block.